Okay, so this is the Air Jordan 1 bread from OG Tony. I paid $169 for these shipped. I just received them a few days ago, but I've been very busy, so I've been meaning to do a review for you guys. And today I found some time. So this is the LJR batch. Supposedly, this is one of the best batches of 2020. OG Tony was very good at communicating with me. He sent me the pictures I needed very fast. He processed my payment very quickly and he shipped these out within a week. So all in all, communication and service through OG Tony was great. You just gotta follow the instructions on his website and he's gonna pull through. So my reason for purchasing a replica pair of these Air Jordan 1 breads is one, the price, of course. And also this shoe's been out for a few years now, so I kinda wanted a brand new pair because the shelf life on shoes isn't that long. It might be five years and these came out a few years ago. So those are some of my main reasons for purchasing a replica pair of Jordans. Back when I was a kid, I used to purchase reps all day. I was on the early reps. I mean the real, real early reps. I'm talking 2004 early reps. So this was back when the whole replica thing was just getting started. They had a lot of fake shit out there, a lot of crazy shit out there. But I was that young kid in middle school. I used to have these Jordan colorways that nobody's ever seen. But back then that wasn't frowned upon. Back then that was cool. Back then that was fly. All my friends did it, you know. But it's been a long time since I owned a pair of replicas. I usually just buy all my shoes retail or I'll get them from StockX or GOAT because I'm a grown man now and that's just what I do. So let's get into this quick review. I'm not going to break it down into so much detail because I'm not that person to QC these. I'm just giving y'all an idea of how these look so y'all can see how the LJR batch looks before you order from OG Tony. All right, so first things first, let's take a look at this box. Let's look at the tags. So over here we got the size tag. I'm a 10 and a half. And yes, these reps do fit true to size. So make sure to get the size that you normally wear. So this is how the tag looks. Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG. Black Varsity Red White. And the suggested retail is 160. Not sure if any of that's accurate, but let's keep going. Okay, so here's the box. As you can see, the box did come kind of dusty over here. Oh, don't even want to touch that. That might be some COVID-19 on my box. Let me wipe my hand real quick. And then over here, you got some creasing on the box that could have just been from the shipping. You got a little more creasing over here as well. It could have just been some rough bumps on the way to get to my house. Let's turn it around to the other side. So on this side, you got the 1985 Air Jordan 1. Um, yeah, that's just what it says. This side, a little more, another little crease over there. But that's all good, it's just the box. I'm not sure what this is. It looks like it says SUP. It might be one of them black light tags, but I don't have a black light with me. It looks like something's on there. All right, so the back of the box, this is what the back of the box looks like. Made in China, okay, cool. Here's the Nike tag. Nike, Nike Air. All right, so let's open these up. Okay, so here's the inside of the box lid. It has some sort of serial number with the Nike stamp. Then on the bottom it says swoosh. Okay, so the paper, regular white paper per usual. So this isn't exactly how it came because I've already opened these up and I already laced these up because I was planning on wearing these. The laces actually did come attached to the shoe, but I already clipped them off. So, so here's the laces. I'm not sure if the laces are supposed to be a certain thickness because I'm just not sure, but this is what they look like. But that's just what the laces look like, red and white laces. Okay, so here's the shoes. In my opinion, these shoes look great. I think they're some of the best reps that you're gonna find. It's just sometimes my rep fam, y'all get real picky. Y'all get real detailed on flaws. So I'm not sure exactly what you're expecting. 
But to the naked eye, these look great in my opinion. Oh, okay, look, it even came with a, a fake stock X tag. Man, y'all gotta watch out for these boys. They're getting real crafty out there in China. But let's take a close look at these shoes. Oh. So like I said, I already laced these up. These actually did come laced properly with only this first lace in place and the rest just open. Okay, so I'm gonna try to knock out every angle of this shoe real quick. So here's the side angle. So I know some things that people like to look for are of course the Air Jordan wing logo. This is what it looks like. Here's what the check looks like. You can kind of see that the leather is tumbled. Another flaw that people like to look for on these is the stitch right here. To me, that stitch looks good. Y'all be the judge of that. All right, so here's the side of the shoe. Okay, so now let's look at the front of these shoes. All right, so now let's take a look at these toe boxes. So this one over here did not come with that crease in there. That was from me trying on the shoe. I was practicing a few invisible fadeaways. I had to break these in a little bit. So I think I broke these in a little bit too much, but that actually did not come like that. They were perfectly smooth a few days ago. All right, so the holes on the toe, to me, look nice and perforated. They're all the way punctured. On some batches that aren't so good, you might be able to see some white where the holes aren't all the way punctured through. But on this LJR batch, they look like most of them are punctured all the way through. This middle one looks like, looks like I might need to stuff a safety pin in that middle one. But the rest of them, all the holes look black, how they should be. So that looks nice. All right, now let's take a look at the tongue. Here's the logo on the tongue. I'm not exactly sure how that's supposed to look, but this is how it looks. Let me show y'all the other tongue real quick. Here's the tag on the other tongue. So here's the other side of the tongue. Here's the tag on the back side of the tongue. That's what it looks like. All right, so let's get to the back of the shoe. Some people said that the LJR batch is a little bit too tall, which that might be true because these do look a little bit high. But when you got these on feet, it's really hard to tell. Another area of concern that I see people talking about is this area right here. Sometimes on the lower quality batches, you won't have this nice contour right here. Some of the lower quality batches just go straight. They just go like straight across. The dimensions right here look very nice. Another thing people like to look at are these two things right here, whatever you call these. I mean, this one looks nice. The stitching looks nice. I'm not really sure what to look for on these, but here they are. Okay, now let's take a look at the bottom of these shoes. So here are the bottoms of these shoes. I'm not sure what the major flaws are. I know in this area right here, some people like to complain that it's too deep. It looks like a swimming pool. I don't know, this one seems like it looks pretty decent. There's the Nike logo. Like I said, y'all are gonna have to be the judge of these things. So here's a good look at the insides. As you can see, the leather, the leather on the check is tumbled nicely. I don't think that y'all would consider that over tumbled. It actually, it actually looks like one shoe is over tumbled a little bit more than the other one. To me, that's not a big deal because I don't even care. Okay, so another thing I know people like to look at is this area right here. So on some lower tier batches, this area might not have this nice, this nice dip right here. It might be too square or it might be too rounded, but these look pretty good to me. Y'all let me know in the comments what major flaws y'all are seeing on these. So here's a shot of the exterior sides. I don't know, they look pretty damn good to me, man.
And here is a look of the logo. Nike Air, men size 10 and a half.